Hello everyone, welcome back to Comment Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. We shall continue our discussion on health indicators and today we will talk about the mortality indicators which are the different indicators related to death. Here we have a list uh, or the enumeration of all the mortality indicators. There can be even more. This part is very important because people are often asked uh, in the Viva table or in the short note uh, about different mortality indicators where we have to define the mortality indicator, how to calculate them, etc. So for your exam purpose, mortality indicator is very important. The first one that we shall talk about is the crude death rate, which is defined as the number of deaths per 1000 population per year in a given community. So in a given community, for every pupil, what is the number of deaths in that same population? That is the crude death rate and as you can see the formula is number of death in a given population in a year and mid-year population in the same year in the same population obviously and we multiply it with 1000. Now when we want to compare the death rate between two different populations say two different districts or two different states two different countries crude death rate is not a very suitable indicator for comparing. Uh, because the age structure, the uh, gender structure and other variable structure between these two groups or more than two groups can be different. So it is better to standardize the death rate uh, then compare between groups rather than using the crude death rate. Next one is the age specific mortality rate. So as the name suggests, it tells us about mortality in a particular or given age group. So this is defined as the total number of deaths occurring in a specific age group of the population in a defined area during the specified period per 1000 estimated population of the same age group. So it is basically the same as this one, almost same. The difference is in the numerator we have the number of death in a given age group in the population in a year divided by the total number of people belonging to the same age group in the same population in the same year and again we multiply it with 1000 so this is age specific mortality rate or asmr next one is life expectancy not exactly a death rate or a mortality indicator but again it is related to death and uh, expectation of life so life expectancy at birth means the average number of years that a person is expected to live uh, uh, considering the different age specific mortality rate in the given population. So uh, if in a population the uh, infant mortality rate is very high or you know uh, under 5 mortality rate is very high then it is expected that the life expectancy of the given population may be not very high. It may be low. So that means we have to consider the different age specific mortality rate in a given population and from that we can somewhat estimate the expected number of years that the person is expected to live that is life expectancy and also an increase in the expectation of life is uh, regarded as an improvement in the health status obviously if in a population the health status is improving people are expected to live for a longer period of time so the life expectancy increases next is infant mortality rate very important viva question we know what is infant, infant is any uh, child less than 1 years of age or 12 months of age. And what is infant mortality rate? This is basically an ratio. So what is this ratio? Ratio of infant death registered in a given year to the total number of live birth registered in the same year, usually expressed as a rate per 1000 live birth. So, in the denominator, we have total number of live births in the same year and we express it uh, as per 1000 live births. So that is why we multiply it with 1000 
and the numerator we have the total number of infant deaths in the given year in the same population so this is infant mortality rate next is child death rate and adult mortality rate these two are different but very close to the infant mortality rate child death rate is basically the death in the age group of 1 to 4 years per 1000 uh, children of the same age group so this is basically age specific death rate in 1 to 4 years of age group what about adult mortality rate it is defined as the probability of dying between the age of 15 to 60 years per 1000 population so again almost the same thing the next one is the maternal mortality ratio or MMR this is very important we also have a maternal mortality rate but remember whenever we talk about MMR we actually mean the maternal mortality ratio before we uh, define what is maternal mortality ratio we need to know what is maternal death according to World Health Organization a maternal death is defined as the death of a woman during pregnancy or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy irrespective of the duration so that means it can be a preterm post term does not matter even before 28 weeks and irrespective of the site of pregnancy so it can be an uterine pregnancy or you know uh, ectopic pregnancy also from any cause related to or aggravated by the pregnancy or its management but not from accidental or incidental causes so this is the maternal death the death has to be related to the pregnancy or childbirth and management but not because of any accidental or incidental reasons and this has to be uh, either during pregnancy or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy and it does not matter what were, whatever was the duration of pregnancy and whatever was the site of pregnancy so this is maternal death now coming to maternal mortality ratio uh, in the numerator we basically have the total number of maternal death in a given year in a given population divided by the total number of live births in the same population in the same year and we multiply it with 1 lakh because MMR is expressed as per lakh live birth so uh, the numerator says total number of female deaths due to complications of pregnancy childbirth or within 42 days of delivery from poor peril causes in an area during a given year so basically maternal death that we defined in our previous slide and in the denominator we have the total number of live births in the same population in the same year so this is maternal mortality ratio so maternal mortality ratio is basically the number of maternal deaths during a given time period per 1 lakh live births during the same time period as i mentioned we also have maternal mortality rate this is often asked and this is the number of maternal deaths in a given period per 1 lakh women of reproductive age group what are the reproductive age group women that is women belonging to 15 to 14 years of age during the same time period so here if we go to the previous slide here in case of maternal mortality rate the denominator will change and that will be the total number of women in reproductive age group that is 15 to 14 years in the same area in the same year so that is the uh, denominator when we change the denominator then uh, uh, it becomes rate otherwise if it is live birth then it is ratio so this is maternal mortality rate and maternal mortality ratio please do not make uh, any confusion uh, about this MMR stands for maternal mortality ratio not rate the next one is the disease specific mortality rate and uh, we can also calculate or compute mortality rate uh, based on different diseases for specific diseases from which the person died uh, here is an example and the specific death rate due to tuberculosis can be calculated by this formula the number of death from tuberculosis during a calendar year in an area divided by the median population in the same area into 1000 so the denominator and the multiplication factor is same as the crude death rate but here the numerator changes and we say some specific reason uh, behind the deaths that is in this case the number of death from tuberculosis so this is tuberculosis specific death rate what about proportional mortality rate so in a given community certain number of people will die we can try to find out what are the 
proportion of death that is occurring because of any particular reason. So this is the simplest measure of estimating the burden of a disease in the community in terms of mortality. Obviously, not in terms of morbidity, but in terms of mortality. It is defined as a proportion of all deaths currently attributed to it. To it means to the particular reason. So proportional mortality rate is number of death because of a specific reason in an area in a year and divided by the total number of death in the same area in a year. So 100%. So suppose in a given population, the uh, proportional mortality rate due to say, tuberculosis is 5%. That actually means that out of 100 death in the given population, 5 death will be because of tuberculosis. So that is, that is uh, proportional mortality rate due to tuberculosis in this example. The next one is the case fatality rate. In my previous video, actually in uh, I think that was the third video on my channel. I discussed case fatality rate in details and there I mentioned uh, actually I explained and made a separate video uh, why case fatality rate is actually not a rate but a uh, ratio. Uh, so I would uh, recommend everyone to go back to that particular video and look at it and that will be very much helpful especially if you are pursuing advanced advanced uh, epidemiology etc you need to know that case fatality rate is actually a ratio not a rate anyway case fatality rate or cfr represents the severity or killing power or virulence of a disease that means how deathly a particular disease is case fatality rate measures the risk of persons dying from a certain disease within a given period of time and it is calculated by the number of deaths from a specific disease given a specific time period derived by the number of cases uh, that is suffering from the same disease in the same time period and it is multiplied by 100 because we express it as percentage so in case of case fatality rate the numerator is total number of death due to a particular disease divided by total number of cases due to the same disease so out of these many people who are suffering from a particular disease how many of them are dying because of that particular disease and it is multiplied by 100 and that is the uh, percentage that we express in so these are all the different mortality rates that we need to know uh, often asked in the viva table you will be asked what is infant mortality rate uh, what is maternal mortality ratio case fertility rate all these questions can be asked uh, so please be prepared and try to understand their meaning uh, with this we conclude today's session if you like the video please uh, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your bachelors uh, juniors and friends from other colleges we also have our facebook page that you can follow the link is given in the description take care and we shall see you in our next video